Now let's take a look at the weather with Peter, who's here. And uh, that graphic looks ominous. Are we expecting snow, Pete? Uh, yeah, I seem to be turning into Lord Snowy. Beano fans will understand that one, I think. Yeah, there is more snow in the forecast, but it isn't going to arrive in the London area until after dark. So be prepared for that. And the worst of it, I think, will be to the west of the capital at the moment. Well, the only place where the temperature has got above freezing is central London. It's pretty cold out there, but not feeling quite as cold as yesterday because we haven't got that, that bone chilling, that bitter wind blowing. And then things really start to get going once the sun sets. Now, here comes the snow. I don't think Essex and Kent are going to see very much, and probably East London will just get a dusting. But it's as you come west that we're likely to see a fresh fall of one to two centimetres. And if you're heading down the M3, the M40, the M4 out to the west of London, well, you could meet as much as five centimetres, perhaps even more than that. And that's the reason that the Met Office warning is in force just to the west of us. Now, overnight tonight, that wintry weather will withdraw to the west, so we should end up... Uh, no snow falling, but a widespread frost, and our cold spots could get as cold, as low as minus 6, minus 7, perhaps minus 8. So if you've got a clear sky, you can reckon on a severe frost. Tomorrow, we should see the cloud, the cloud that's left over after the night snow clearing away. So there should be plenty of winter sunshine. And temperatures, well, most places getting just above freezing as you can see there. Mind you, as soon as the sun sets, we will have a widespread severe frost to take us into the weekend. Looks as though uh, Saturday will be rather nice but cold. Sunday could be quite grey, misty. There might even be some fog around. So I think the weather could be causing quite a bit of travel trouble over the next few days. Remember, bulletins on our radio station, 94.9 FM. Also on the website. And why not tweet us because you can fill in the gaps where we haven't got travel cameras and then our travel team can help keep everybody on the move safely. So definitely wintry. Back to you, Alice. Thanks very much, Peter.